Hello, everybody. This is Joe DeRamo from My Pinnacle Network, and this is the More Than Two Minute Networking Drill. Uh, My Pinnacle Network is a business to business networking group, and each year we do something quite special. We hand out awards to our best networkers in our organization. So we've been handing those out lately since we weren't able to have our formal ceremony on March 17th. So we're doing this virtually. And I, I wish I had a drum roll sort of thing here because this is our <laughs> best connector networking ninja award. And she's a good guest already because she laughed at that. So I'd like to introduce you to our best connector networking ninja, uh, Tara Gearhart. She is in the my Pinnacle Network Needham Group. So, Tara, here's your trophy. Enjoy. Thank you. Thank you, oh, everybody. A, Thanks, a, Joe. You know, they it's talk about <laughs> they talk about the marvels of technology, and that's one that kind of got left out about Zoom and how effective it is at communicating. So we can somehow do award ceremonies like this. Um, but that aside, um, congratulations on the award and. Thank for those you. folks who aren't in the Needham group who don't might not know you, just tell us a little bit about yourself and your business. Excellent. Well, thank you so much, Joe, for having me. Thanks, everyone um, in my pinnacle that voted. It was certainly an honor and a surprise um, winning awards at any time uh, at my age and <laughs> is, uh, is exciting and fun. Um, so thank you so much. And um, my name is Tara Gearhart. I am the owner of T Media Consulting. We are a certified HubSpot agency partner and um, outsourced marketing consultancy for hire for small to medium businesses. Uh, basically, we help you with your brand messaging. We help you with your lead generation, your campaign execution. We either work as your outsized outsourced CMO, or we work with your internal marketing team um, from high level strategy, and then your internal team would uh, handle execution. So um, been a member of my Pinnacle Network in Needham for around three years now. Uh, it's a great group of people. We really enjoy, um, you know, sharing real life war stories of what's going on with business owners uh, day in and day out. Um, you know, obviously this year in particular in 2020 with uh, the coronavirus um, happening, it's been um, presented itself extra challenges for a lot of businesses. So um, we've really been happy to help um, help folks, uh, you know, keep with messaging and um, and kind of keep their brand engagement up uh, during this time. Great. Um, as the best connector, I mean, that's kind of a lofty award here. You must have some some best practices you employ in your networking that maybe you'd like to share with, with our audience just to, you know, what does a best connector do to get, <laughs> to be a sure. good connector? Sure. Yes. Yeah, no. Um, you know, obviously as with anything, um, you really reap the benefits of the effort that you put into it. So, um, really making sure that whatever you are putting, what efforts you're putting forth towards to make connections, um, that you're sticking to it and you're uh, following up and really doing the work um, via outreach. Um, I'm a big fan of, you know, snail mail in, a, in such a technology rich uh, world that we live in an instant gratification world that we live in. Uh, nothing kind of breaks through the junk mail in the mailbox, like a handwritten thank you card or a really nice piece of swag or something thoughtful, um, just letting people know that you're thinking about them, uh, letting people know that you're, you know, truly invested in a business type partnership to help them grow. So, um, you know, things like branded uh, swag for your business that is applicable uh, to your potential target consumers, some things that they could use on a day-to-day -day basis, um, handwritten thank you cards after you've met them, or you know, just thoughtful email outreach on ways and reasons why um, people would want to talk with you and some offer value that you could offer them um, in setting some time aside to speak um, are really important things that before you just send, send a communication or do an outreach that you really think about and you kind of, you know, make sure that everything is couched authentically um, and strategically, you know, to to, to help them, but also to position yourself as 
a thought leader um, and a, a person that could really impact their businesses in a positive way. Um, so some of those best practices are around just keeping time in your calendar, um, you know, setting aside time to make those outreaches, make those follow-ups and ensuring that stuff doesn't fall through the cracks when you do have a really good conversation. So as part, as part of your follow-up, like, do you give yourself a timetable as like, I need to get back to a person I've done a one-on-one with, one with within, you know, how many days, hours, weeks? I mean. Yep. Yeah. So typically for one-to-one, I'm, I'm pretty um, immediate. Just my personality is there's, always a lot of things going on between work and family. <laughs> so um, if I don't do it immediately, it's probably going to, you know, I, I just know this from past experience. If I don't do follow up, you know, really within a few hours of our initial conversation um, and then set a task of next steps, um, it's, it's typically not getting done. So say you and I had a one-on-one -on -one today for our very mm -hmm. first time. Typically, within an hour, I ha you have a follow-up email, just even if it's something oh, wow. simply saying, thank you so much for taking the time to talk with me today. These are the things that we discussed on our call. These are the next steps that we identified, and I'll be back in touch with you in a week, in a month, in six months, whatever that you know results conversation yielded in. And then what I do is um, I use my calendar for pretty much everything. Um, I know that there are tons of uh, you know, uh, task tracking software and applications, things like Monday, things like Basecamp, Trello. Um, I find, unfortunately, I've tried all of those to try to find the silver <laughs> bullet, um, but nothing for me beats just adding a task and an actual block of time on my calendar in that specific follow-up time. So then that way, um, if it is a week, if it is a day, if it is a month, whatever that timetable is, it's on my calendar. So the next time that I am looking and sorting out my day for what's tomorrow look like, it's actually saying, oh, you need to reach back out with Joe because, you know, you had this conversation a week ago and there's a, some resulting follow-up task that's due on this time. And that's just regular Microsoft Outlook or... Yes, just actually I use Gmail. So I use Gmail, okay. my Gmail calendar and, and yes, it's, there you um, go, free I, tool. Actually, I have a mass. Yes. I have a master calendar free tool. Um, I've tried them all and I need one less sign for everything is what right. I found. I have Excellent. plenty of places to sign into. So, um, you know, just kind of keeping and, and actually, I, I really, am, I hate to admit this, but I'm a big sticky fan, like sticky note fan. Mm -hmm. <laughs> sticky notes are, are kind of out of trend because everybody has electronic notes and note takers and audio things now. Um, so I've actually kind of transitioned. So my Gmail is basically like my virtual sticky note, you know, repository yeah. of everything that I need to do. Um, but, it, but that way it sorts the time and a place. So well, I'll I, get done. I, I, no judgment here. We're still using these yeah. here. So, um, exactly. <laughs> we talked earlier about, uh, well, you talked earlier about COVID and how that's changed things. And if you could just elaborate on what, what's been different about your networking efforts during COVID and has it, has it, have you added anything or just enhanced any of the things you were doing anyway? Yeah, so for me, um, I was in a unique position for the probably the past five and a half years um, when I o first opened my practice. And even three years prior to that, I was in inside sales at a SaaS company at HubSpot itself. So um, I've been pretty used to working virtually, meaning taking a lot of meetings on Zoom. Um, I, I try to do as many in-person meetings as I can because I am a person that likes to have that like one-to-one -one, eyeball to eyeball contact, not just through the screen. Um, so fortunately for a lot of my local clients, I encourage, you know, monthly meetings, uh, weekly meetings, things like that as possible in person. Um, obviously through coronavirus, um, we've had to really transition all of that to um, Zoom and virtual. So um, it, in particular, like doing my whole structured day, working from home and those things, that wasn't much of a change because that's kind of what I've been used to for the past five years or so. Um, mm -hmm. However, really missing that people connection and intergroup connection, exchange of sharing ideas, things like that um, has really 
kind of forced me to build in some of that time. So um, doing actually social group Zooms, um, Mm -hmm. things where you just kind of do like, we call it like water cooler talk with your office friends, Um, you know, not making everything super business, but where you would just actually hop on a Zoom and share and say, hey, this is what's going on today. This is kind of, you know, what I'm looking for help with does anybody have any ideas, stuff like that. So um, in that sense, it's, it hasn't really like coronavirus hasn't really made me necessarily implement new digital strategies, but it has made me more time conscious of really making sure that your schedule is building in not only those business conversations, but also those idea sharing conversations and kind of more informal um, networking kind of opportunities opportunities essentially so well i mean do you, you find yourself making business calls just to be more connected to the world like- yes yeah so we do yeah exactly so yeah. we've actually kind of um we're again our our company is in a little bit of a, a unique situation in the sense that uh companies that didn't have a digital strategy really realized that they needed a digital strategy yeah. so we've had some really good conversations with businesses that we had potentially spoken with maybe a year or two ago but they weren't ready to you know um uh dip their toe in fully uh, you know they were there they were now reaching back out to us and saying okay remember all those things we talked about a year ago well we need to put all of those things in place you know within the next 30 days mm. um and then also to just um being a resource uh i'm really big on helping uh businesses if with marketing in particular there's 20 different ways that people can get to the same end result it's really just finding a right solution and formula and mix that works for you but it's also not necessarily rocket science. It's just um, consistency and making sure that, you know, your brand messaging is authentic and you're communicating at the right time to folks. So I do a lot of, um, you know, helpful consultations to business owners that might not necessarily turn into my clients, but I never turned on an initial conversation because you never know who they know. And you always want to be looked at as a resource to folks so that those people can say, hey, that person really helped me when they didn't necessarily have to. And so therefore, you know, when business turns around or, um, you know, when they have an opportunity to recommend somebody, they think of me and that's, you know, worth the the 30 minute conversation that I have with them um, time and again, you know, so um as I like to say, I like to put karma points out there and, there you go. and then they come networking back to karma. me. <laughs> exactly. exactly. Networking karma. You, you never know when it's going to come back to you, but um, it eventually does if you're doing enough of the right things. So, well, well, speaking of networking karma, this leads to my, my final question was regarding you have now have the best connector title. How do you plan on defending your throne? Or do you? I guess just, (laughs) yes, I do. (laughs) Hopefully, you know, of course, I'm secretly very competitive. So, of course, I just want to keep winning and winning. Um, But, uh, yeah, so how I plan uh, to defend my uh, best connector title is really just continuing to put people in touch with each other that makes sense and really continuing just to have good conversations with folks and making great connections. So, um, you know, I think I think that's what you know, the crux of my pinnacle is, is that whether you're in your local group or whether you have your other groups around you, it's really knowing who's in those groups, how they can be of help and of service to the work and the people that you're coming in contact with. And then, you know, thinking of those folks first um, and making that recommendation. So um, I'll do my best to defend the title for the upcoming year. Well, you, you gave a better answer than the best answer I've heard so far was from our most altruistic who said he wouldn't be very altruistic if he kept the award to himself. So that, w- <laughs> that would be, that would be Dominic. So the opposite. Yes. The opposite. Right. Altruistic. Right. Right. So um, thank you again for, for coming on and congratulations on the best connector award. Thank and, you. And uh, thanks for coming on. And again, this has been the more than two minute drill, which, we aptly name him as more than two minutes because obviously we went longer than that. I'm Joe DeRamo, one of the two part, three partners of My Pinnacle Network, and we'll continue to be presenting 
the My Pinnacle Network Networking Ninja Awards. We have a few more to go, so stay on the lookout for that. And uh, again, Tara, thanks for joining us and uh, have a great day.